Moving on to the eighth on the programme, race number eight is the second last, class three over the 1650, the last of the class threes as well, a field headed by Nam Jong Plus, getting back to the 1650, has won over this trip, but three times up over the 1800 metres as well. Prime Minister, sixth to Farshad last time out, making up some uh, good late ground. Smiling City, a winner three starts back, course and distance, last though on the all weather on his last start. Smoothies was runner up to Right Honourable last time, gets a three pound turnaround, Right Honourable is on a hat trick after winning class four, and then class three here last uh, time out. Fast paces, a two-time course and distance winner, and fantastic show. Very close to a class drop now. Victor Wong taking five pounds off his back. Nam Jong plus Mr. Alden and Smoothies Mark are the horses that have been on the road. Tends to go forward, Smoothies, and uh, they rode him a little bit more off the pace last time, so might do it again here in the back half of the field. Smiling City, who raced wide on the all weather, comes back to the turf. Wide draw, but does have early speed. Surrealism ran second from the same trip last time. Vitralite Prime Minister. Fast pace is wide around Gift of Lifeline. He too is coming back from a run on the all weather that he didn't seem to appreciate. Right honourable, he's going to win three in a row, Paul. He's going to have to do it three wide, but with some cover out there. Uh, Gift of Lifeline was really pushed out here this morning and did respond nicely. Karis Teton aboard barrier number four, so uh, he'll get his opportunities coming off an all weather run as well. So a uh, nice piece of work, I thought, from uh, Gift of Lifeline leading into this. Uh, Chevalier Prince, now he's trialled recently at uh, Happy Valley. It was a good trial behind Victory Scholars, who came out and ran really well on the weekend. Uh, just some nice, quiet work for him. But uh, Joe Marrera jumping aboard with a tongue tie coming off. He should get a nice run from Barrier 6. And here are Smoothies, just working with Lucky Moore up in uh, Chung Fa. They, you're right, they rode him back last time and it seemed to work. Now, Smoothies is on the far side there. That's him, um, uh, 233. OK, all right, we'll get straight into the key races as well, starting off with a horse who's our current favourite at the moment, that is Fast Pace. Casper found Zach Pert in the saddle, possible pound overweight here for Zach. Uh, Nam Jong Plus back in fifth, Mark. I've got them both in, Nam Jong Plus from Barry number one. He runs on normally and ran fifth behind Ching Bai Chi last time. Fast Pace was seventh behind Fast Shad. He was making ground, Paul, but he loves 16.50. He gets Zach on board, even from the wide draw. He's certainly in the top four. Yeah, I've got him in the top four as well, um, fast pace. I think he's been consistent, especially at Happy Valley all season. OK, Smiling City. I think we've probably excused him his run on the all-weather last time out, Paul. So we'll go to his run two starts back behind Encanto Prepared. He'd won the start prior. Yeah, look, I, I, and it was, uh, was a good run there as well. It's just whether he, he can get across from barrier 12 easy enough and what Smoothies does, because here's Smoothies leading and he was in front with 100 to go and just sort of swamped late in this race. But when he went back, I thought he hit the line really strongly behind Right Honourable. So, um, yeah, I'm interested to see what they do with Smoothies, but I do quite like him as a horse. You've got Smiling City and that £7 claim for Jerry Chow. As Paul said, if he gets over from 12, he does race well around the valley. OK, Right Honourable. Need to have a look at him after winning in class four. Many, myself included, thought three might be a stretch, but it wasn't. And he wins here, Mark, at uh, 44 to 1. It took him 29 starts to break through in class three, but there is no doubting he's in great form. He's up five pounds for the win, Paul. He's got a whitey straw again. Happy to risk him, maybe not happy to risk him, a horse looking for three in a row. He's in good form, but just couldn't quite squeeze him in the top four. Yeah, I'm same as you, but look, if he does get the race run to suit, we know he has got a powerful finish. Yeah, I think he's hard to ignore um, off the back of that uh, for sure. And Paul, have a look at this trial. You mentioned it, Chevalier mm. Prince at uh, Happy Valley. Take us through this. Now, he was hit a few times by um, Joe Down. You can see him. He whacked him there to keep his mind on the job. And then he gave him a, a couple more as well down the straight. But then he put the whip away at the end and the horse uh, really uh, strengthened out. I think he's a horse that needs to be kept up to his work. You can see Victory Scholars on the inside and he came out and ran really well on the weekend. You can see when he put the whip away, I thought he just hit the line strongly. He hasn't raced here in race day conditions, but I just like uh, the fact that he did handle the valley there. With Paul, he's a nice horse, this guy's had mucus in his system the last two yep. occasions, so an excuse there both times. OK, all right. So he's 10 to 1. Paul, sounds like he's your pick. Yeah, I'm going to make him an each-way player. Well, the best of the day, actually, because I think we'll get a, a decent price. I thought we'd get about six or seven for him. Uh, he's now 10 to 1 still, so more than happy with that. And as, as Mark said, he had excuses with mucus at his last two, and he seemed to be over that with that troll. So he's on top smoothies. I'm interested in see how he goes. A fast pace and gift of lifeline. 7, 8, 11 and 5. With the seven also, he's a nice horse, Chevalier Prince, and he does have some ordinary numbers next to his name, but we've touched on the reasons why. Fast Pace loves the 1650 around the valley. Number six, Smiling City gets a claim, but does have that wide draw. Forget the run on the your weather and Nemjong Plus drawn one. He'll be running on seven, 11, six and one. All right. I am going rough in uh, race number eight. Vitralite, Francis Lloyd, Vincent Ho, barrier three. He's only, what, 28 to one. Should be bigger than that. Last two starts back, 
and last last time out um, as well. So see what he can do, but uh, I think uh, from a good draw we might see an improved performance from him. Race number nine, one more race to go, plus all the best bets. That comes up next.